Happy Sabbath, children. Today's story is about Billy. Billy ha had wanted something. So Billy was eight years old, and for three years, he was asking for a bike for his birthday. And for three years, his parents could said they couldn't afford it. They needed to save money. But three days before his ninth birthday, his parents told him that he was about to get his dream bike. And he was very excited, very happy. So the day of his birthday, he got up after he had dream and through the night about riding his bike. He got up and he rushed to his parents' room and he said, I said, today, where is my bike? And he was very excited. So he went to the garage and he saw his bike that was underneath the cloth. And it was a nice, shiny blue bike, just like the one he had wanted for so many years. He was very excited. And so his dad said, well, let me tell you, it's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. You might get discouraged because riding a bike is not easy. But he told them, but never give up. Don't forget that you got to keep trying. So he took his bike out of the garage. He went to his yard and he started. He saw when he tried to get on it that it was height. He, he got scared. He thought, am I going to fall? Am I going to be able to ride it? He was very scared. But his dad encouraged him and he helped him holding the seat of the bike so he could balance and he tried to teach him how to pedal. And when a Billy tried to pedal, he put a, a right foot on top of the, the pedal and he went sideways and he fell. And he felt sad. But his dad re reminded him, you gotta keep trying. So... He tried many times. One time he fell off. There was a creek, um, a small running water next to his yard. And he went and he was trying to ride. And he went down hills. He was concentrating so bad on, on staying still that he forgot to press on the brakes. And he went straight to the water. Then the, he got this courage. He, st he stopped riding the bike for two days. And then another time he was riding his bike and he went against the roses at the yard. And he had thorns and scratches all over him. He felt sad. That was painful. But he didn't get, give up. Then there was another time he was riding on the road and he hit up a little hole in the road and he lost control. And he bumped into his best friend. He had to stay away from the bike for another two or three days. But at the end, he learned how to ride it. He was able to go out and ride his bike with his friend on the part that he always wanted to buy his ride at. He was able to ri ride on the road. He was able to ride with his best friend. And that teaches a lesson. You, you're not supposed to ever give up. If you really want something, you got to go for it. Even if that, if that gives you a few hours. Okay, that was today's story. Um, do you have anything that you would like to do and you're scared of? No. No. How about learning to read? How about math challenging? Swimming? Bike riding? You know how to ride a bike? Well, there's few challenges in life, and there will be more. I have my daughter, Esperanza. She is excited to learn how to drive. And I put her on the, on the wheel the other day. She was so scared, but so excited. So there's a lot of things we got to learn as we're growing up. But don't give up. Okay, God is always with you, and he does this to have courage. You let us be drive the car. Yes. So courage is the ability to do something even if it frightens you. It is to persevere until you succeed. Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, I really want to master something. 
give me the courage I need to persevere, to keep trying and never give up, that it is a struggle. Help me to remember that failure along the way are always the way we learn, and they should never make me feel ashamed. Amen.